Hello, this is Professor BRB, and today we're going to take a look at creating numbered lists in Adobe InDesign. So we're going to take this plain list over here and transform it into this numbered list. So let's get started. Creating a numbered list in InDesign is amazingly easy. You just select your text, and up here you can find bulleted list and numbered list, just click numbered list. So nothing could be easier. But this isn't really formatted in a very interesting way and I think we can bring the meaning of the text out much, much better. Uh, one thing to note, since this is a live list, is that if I add uh, oops. items, uh, they will continue to be uh, numbered, so that's really great. Probably is a good idea to work with show hidden characters turned on, because wherever there's a character return, that's where InDesign is going to add another number. So let's select this and hold down our Option key or our Alt key and click on the numbered list icon to get our numbered list options. And we've chosen list type numbers, but we could change it back to bullets, but numbers are what we want. We can control our formatting, and we can do Roman numerals, and even, although it's called a numbered list, we can still do A, B, C, D if we wanted to. So we've got all kinds of choices here but we're going to go back to the default. Um, if we want to get rid of the period after the numbers, uh, we can do that down in this field by just deleting it. Now I've noticed a little problem here. Because I've gone now to a double digit number list, my numbers are not lining up on the right like I would like them to. So we're going to fix that by going to Alignment, Right, and nothing happens. And, and that's because InDesign doesn't have room uh, to make that happen. So we're going to change our left indent to 2 pica 6 and leave the negative indent in here. And now you can see my numbers have jumped over and they are very nicely aligned. I'm actually going to put the period back in here. I decide I want it there now. So I can put that back in. And let's just take a look at what we have here. OK, that's a great start. Now I want to make my numbers bold and green. So with my type tool, I'm just going to place my cursor in that first paragraph. And holding down my Option or my Alt key, I'm clicking on my numbered list uh, over here. Actually, I should mention that you can also find that um, in your control panel menu if you want to look for it over there. It's the same. And I'm going to create a new character style. I'm going to call it Bold Green Number. In basic character formats, I'm going to leave this blank. So it will work with any typeface. Go to bold, and then go to character color. And I've got lots of nice greens here, so I'm going to choose a green. And click OK. OK. Now you can see my number is there. Now I want to create a paragraph style so that I can easily apply this to this list or any other list I might come across. So I'm just going to put my cursor in the middle of my first line here, go to Paragraph Styles, and create a new paragraph style. I'm going to call it Green Numbered List. And just go ahead and click OK. Now if I select my entire list here and just choose Green Numbered List, it um, formats everything just exactly the way that I want it. I want to do one more thing to add a little space 
uh, between my entries. So I'm going to go back and edit that paragraph style. And this is part of the beauty of using paragraph styles, that it makes it very, very easy to edit your style. And I'm going to put a space after of seven points. My letting is 14 points, so that's just a half a half a line space. And click OK. That looks terrific. One other thing I want to point out, um, and let me just select this and go into my preferences by holding down my Option key and clicking, that um, if mode here gets changed somehow to start at number one, uh, your list will all be numbers one. And if that happens, just go back and make sure the mode is set continue from previous. Uh, one thing I should also mention is that if you are exporting your document to HTML or EPUB or any other HTML format, numbered lists will translate out as ordered lists and bulleted lists will translate out as unordered lists. So the last thing that I want to do is format uh, these first words of uh, each entry to make them stand out more. And I'm going to do that in a kind of a shortcut way with the eyedropper tool. So let me just select this first one and choose a color for it. Maybe this nice orangey color. And go to my character and make it bold. OK, that looks great. Now, if I go choose my eyedropper tool here, and I just click here, it fills up the eyedropper with that formatting. And all I have to do is just click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. It's very quick to finish off my list. Now, of course, I also could have done this with a character style, but in this case, I was feeling a little lazy, so I just used my eyedropper tool, and that's a good little trick to know. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. This is Professor BRB, and I will be right back.